What's up, amigos? Today we have the aerodynamics of a burger, and this is a pretty sweet burger. It looks like it has some Swiss cheese in there, so a little bit of holes. You don't see that too often in burgers. That's quite fancy. That's nice. And this is the Z plane going, or Z plane going from the bottom up, and it's colored in the U magnitude going from 0 to 25 meters per second. And you can see behind the burger, there's there are these two, like, um, maxima of weight, but the one on the bottom of the screen is much bigger than the one on the top of the screen and it prevails much more up on the burger than the other one so i'm not sure what that is from the other side of the burger seems to have a significantly higher velocity around the top of the bun so some sort of asymmetry perhaps due to the cheese and now these streamlines show what's going on so i put a whole bunch of streamlines going around and we can see why the left side of the burger had a much greater wake than the right side because we have those streamlines rolling up on the left side a lot more than on the right whereas on the right side they kind of just sucked the burger quite a lot more so for some reason there's an asymmetry which may just be due to the lettuce and or the cheese on there the rest of the streamlines are quite streamlined actually they follow the top of the bun quite nicely and now these animated streamlines are colored in the velocity again we have some streamlines inside the burger because the actual mesh itself was a little bit hollow inside so they made their way in but obviously no burger is airtight. Some of them do let air in because it's obviously porous, the bun, let's face it. And <laughs> the animated streamlines show you just how well the wake does suck down behind most of the burger. There's only that part on the left where the streamlines go quite crazy. And they accelerate quite a lot. So this burger is producing lift. And that's in the simulation. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if you do aerodynamics, so you do either experiments or CFD, where you do validation with experimental data, make sure to pick up our atmosphere hawk and make your experiment much more accurate because it accurately measures the density of air for you, which does change quite a lot. We made a podcast, podcast number 54, that shows this. Link in the description. Peace out, amigos.